I think we did fairly well uh, last week. Uh, Kali Cobb broke, broke the school record in the heptathlon, and she broke it really in a pretty big manner. Um, Heather Parrish was second in the long, in the long jump, and uh, Emily Foyne also was second in the four, in the four hundred hurdles, which I think shows that we are getting somewhere with those girls. Uh, we were missing Cassandra Lloyd, so it's always a big void in, on our team when she's not here. She had a wedding, so she was away for this weekend. Um, next week, or this weekend, uh, we'll be at uh, Miami. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. They're supposed, they're supposed to have uh, quite a bit of uh, team from everywhere in the Midwest here, so we'll see how we can go, uh, we can do. Um, I think as as always, you know, we're going to be looking for Heather, uh, Parrish, Emily Foyno, Kylie Cobb, Cassandra Lloyd uh, to do something for us. Um, now, I think also overall on the on the season, um, we've started really this season probably as good as we could start because we already broken many score records. Like, like I told you a second ago, Kylie Cobb broke the heptathlon score record. Emily Foyno broke the 400 meter hurdles score record at FSU. And Cassandra Lloyd improved uh, her 100 meter hurdle time, uh, but also uh, broke the 100 meter dash score record. Um, and I, I do believe that we have several people that have a chance to qualify for regional this year. Uh, Emily Foligno's right now is ranked 53rd, she needs to be in the top 48. Cassandra Lloyd is ranked 10th. Um, and Heather Parrish is probably around that too, around the 55 60 range in the triple jump, so that would be really a big step for us to have more than one person qualify for regional as uh, it's been the case the past years.